What's up YouTube, JT Judgment here, and today I'm going to be showing you my newest team. Uh, it's a Spanish team, you guys. Um, I had a lot of likes on the previous video, um, so that told me you wanted to see a Spanish team. So I went ahead and made it, and it is a pretty epic squad, guys. As you can see, we've got a lot of high-rated players on the bench, for example, Alonso, Martinez, and Fabregas, uh, to name a few. So I've gone through the bench, you know what's on the bench now guys, so we'll get to the start in 11. It is a beast start in 11 guys, I'm not going to lie, some of the players on it are outstanding. As you can see, in goal we've got the team of the year, uh, Ike Casillas, not the best keeper, but he's the standard Spanish keeper, you know guys, he's the obvious keeper. Um, and left back we've got team of the season Jordi Alba, main reason is for his 91 pace, and him and Jose Enrique are really the only good left backs there are really Spanish ones at right back we've got team of the year uh, Sergio Ramos now the reason I've got him at right back and over the team of the season centre back version uh, is because I haven't got enough for the uh, centre back version and I wanted a very very good right back so I decided to go for the right back version and as you can see my both centre backs are team of the season Puyol and team of the year PK of two very good centre backs not the fastest but very very good Left midfield we've got team of the season Mata. Uh, right midfield we've got second in form Jesus Navas or Jesus Navas. And look who I picked up for the centre mid position guys. I managed to pick up a 97 rated team of the year Xavi. Absolutely amazing guys. His passing is out of this world and his dribbling is pretty darn good as well. Uh, right centre attack in mid position we've got team of the season David Silva. Another great player. Uh, someone who can definitely tell a difference between his team of the season and his in-form. And as you can see there, guys, uh, on the left centre attack, I managed to pick up a team of the year in Iniesta, guys. Absolutely amazing team this is. And at striker, look who I've got. I've got the 87 in-form Fernando Torres. The reason I haven't got the 88 rated is because the 88 rated at the moment is a bit out of my price range. I don't want to go spending 600k for him. I think that's a bit too much. And really, I just, that's that's really the only reason why. Um, <clears throat> here you see me going through all the players, showing you how much I got them for, basically, and showing you their stats. Um, some of them I might have got for a little cheaper than what they're worth, and some of them I might have overpaid slightly for. Bearing in mind, guys, I bought these players around a week ago, so their prices might have changed since then. Not 100% sure about it. Uh, but um, as you can see with Eva Valera, uh, I haven't got a price for him, I go back to him as you see, uh, reason being is I bought him on another account and swapped him over, so that's why the price uh, isn't there for him, <clears throat> but he's the only player in the team who hasn't got a price, everybody else has got a price, so you'll be able to see how much I got him for there. But the main attribute, if you ask me, in this team, guys, is his passing. Absolutely out of this world. When it comes to passing, they've never made a team like it. Uh, if you look at the midfield, you've got Mata with 90-plus pace, Iniesta with 90-plus, uh, Xavi 90-plus, uh, David Silva 90-plus, and uh, Navas 90-plus. So it is when it comes to passing, guys, this team is unbeatable. If you're looking to make a team, you've got a lot of coins to spend, you're looking to make a good passing team, then this is what to go for, guys. So on to some gameplay with this team, some goals I scored. Uh, we got some nice passing uh, for the team there and we pass it to Iniesta who finishes it off nicely with a lovely finesse shot uh, into the top right hand corner. No keeper is going to save that. For for those of you who want to know, the guy I'm playing at the moment has got a League One team and they've got in form Steve Mandanda in goal. Uh, here... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. We get a goal kick with Casillas straight up to the top, and David Silva is just going to run past the defence and slam it into the back of the net. Um, David Silva, but the, the team of the season version has got 82 pace. Now, if you watch the replay in a second, guys, it seems to me as if he's got more than 82 pace. Look at this, guys. He seems to just run past them with ease and slam it into the back of the net. Here we've got some nice passing play here, guys. You usually matter running up the wing. Torres through ball, he heads it, get a bit lucky, hits the post and bounces straight back at me. So th with that goal, I did get a bit lucky, but you know, it's a goal. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to just hit it wide or anything. So a lovely little tap in, but there. 
Uh, also, the teamwork to get the goal as well was amazing, guys, if you saw that. Uh, like I said, the teamwork in this passing and teamwork in this uh, squad is amazing, guys. But here we do some little, a little bit. I do a little bit of skill with Torres and just basically tap it into the back of the net here. Then on to the next goal that I got. Uh, we get uh, the ball back with Xavi. We get a little bit of a fail, but Torres comes back and slams it into the net. With a shot like that, guys, no keeper in the world is going to save that. I don't know whether if you had man of the match check or man of the match Neuer in goal, I don't know whether they might have get a, got a hand to it. I've never used man of the match Neuer, but I know check might have. Next game I play, I come up against this team. It's a pretty decent French team, guys. We've got really likes of Ribery, Benzema, and all that. Here we've got Soldado uh, and. Nice passing and just slams it into the back of the net. I've got the second in form, Soldado. So he's got 93 shooting. And his shot is pretty darn good, guys. I'm not going to lie. You will see in this video. Here, just after extra time, I decided to go on a bit of a skill run with Iniesta. Uh, do some roulettes. Pretty much just any sort of skill mover. Slam it with his weaker foot. Hits the post. Comes back at me and Iniesta finishes it off nicely. Again, a bit of a lucky goal, but, you know, I'm not going to turn it down, I'm just going to finish it uh, whenever I can. Uh, again, we get another bit of a lucky goal. Um, here we have Raul Garcia finishing it off. Uh, he's got 88 shooting, guys, so from that distance, he's not going to miss. Uh, you know, 88 shot, you're not going to miss from in the box. Uh, here, um, we get a lovely little pass from Iniesta to Soldado, and Soldado is just going to slam it into the back of the net for another goal. Again, from that distance, with 93 shooting, he's not going to miss. You know, he's got an amazing shot on him. Guys, I'm not going to lie. He's worth around the 30-40k mark. Uh, if you've got the coins to spend on him, I highly recommend it. He is very much worth it. There, I don't know if you saw, we got a free kick. Uh, put Ramos on the spot. He uh, sl um, kicks it in. The guy passes it straight to my uh, Ballesteros, and Ballesteros punishes him and slams it into the back of the net. But that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, my gameplay, my Spanish squad, uh, it is a beast squad. Um, the team I'm thinking of making next is a German team, uh, it's going to be pretty epic German team, I can't wait to make it and try it out. If you want to see a German team guys, leave a like down below, uh, well leave a comment down below or leave a like on this video and then I'll know you want me to make it then. But that wraps up this video, I hope you enjoyed, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.